in the field just like a slave But I ain't picking cotton Long as I'm alive, your memory will never be forgotten Lord, forgive me for my sins, I was traumatized Seeking revenge, had me out committing homicides When it come to dead friends, believe me, I'ma slide Catch you on slip, I'm putting tears in your mama's eyes Lord, forgive me for my sins, I was traumatized Shooting quick, no camera lens, we talking homicides Loyal to my dead friends, you know that I'ma slide Risking 50 years to put some tears up in your mama's eyes Say, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy 16 in life and I'm back like I'm on a pro violation. Yard down. Now for those of y'all that's new to my page, in 1994 I got arrested. I was eventually sentenced to 16 years plus life and I served 24 years straight in the California prison system. Normally I'll come on here and I'll do prison stories, but I definitely don't want anyone to think that I'm glamorizing or condoning the street life. So periodically what I like to do on Fridays, I like to do a segment that I call free game Friday and what that is is basically I come on here and I try to share some information with those who may still be in the streets to help them move a little smarter and eventually transition out of the streets in the same way some of my older homies did when I was younger out there in the streets hustling so on and so forth right and so the topic today is girls who are infatuated with dudes in the streets or girl gang members um I think of course you definitely always had certain women of any era and generation who have been infatuated with dudes out there hustling, getting their money the street way, uh, whether it's selling drugs, robbing, jacking, so on and so forth, right? But I believe now to due to the presence of social media, it may make it appear that it's more women who are infatuated with those type of individuals. Not to mention you have the influence of certain rappers like Cardi B, who suggest that uh, women shouldn't mess with men who are broke, so on and so forth, right? So this type of mentality gets perpetuated and reinforced by a lot of, um, I guess, females that younger females may look up to today, right? And so, of course, now you have a lot of women who are infatuated in this day and age and demand that a man have a foreign car, you know, an X amount of money put up, jewelry, you know, uh, the designer clothes, so in order to even get their attention, right? And so, and I think what a lot of those women fail to realize is that some of these men who are, who they are infatuated with, um, because of their because of their current street status, are out there getting money in the streets in ways that sometimes not honorable or respected in the streets. And to be honest, the street code is gone anyway. So you may be a person out there who's just hustling and selling dope and you're not robbing or jacking anybody or doing any wrong to get your money outside of the street, outside of the, the law, right? But you have dudes nowadays who don't care about that. They're going to try to rob you, jack you, gun you down. Some of your own homies may be plotting, uh, setting you up and envious because of your success. And so these women fail to realize that while you are chilling and hanging with these men, um, when the people come for these guys, whether they've done something wrong or whether they're just looking to rob them and jack them, they're not going to spare you because you are um, not out there doing these things, you know. So you are willing to basically put your freedom and your health on the line in order to hang with these dudes and maybe get a few months worth of designer clothes, uh, expensive trips, laying up in nice hotels, so on and so forth, right? And so, uh, and this also goes to the dudes out there, men who may have sisters, you know, younger cousins, daughters, whoever, you know, if you happen to know that your female loved one is in the presence of some of these dudes, it may be wise to try to um, spread some information to them and, you know, and let them know that everything, everything that glitters is not always going to be gold. Because like I said, once again, when these dudes approach, you know, the dudes that are envious of, of of the success of certain individuals in the streets, they're not gonna spare anybody just because they're a female. And then also, it seems like I see a lot of female gang members, you know, on social media, um, dissing the dead, you know, talking gang talk, um, talking tough. And the fact of the matter is, there are really not a lot of women who are really out there banging and putting in work or willing to bang and put in work on the level of some of these guys, 
And so, of course, the presence of social media seems to make things a little worse now because as opposed to back in my generation before you had all the YouTube, the Instagrams, you know, uh, people, if, if there was a female gang member or somebody like that back in my generation, she probably was just known in her area, maybe by the people that she didn't get along with, you know. But now, like I said, because of the social media presence, um, you have a lot of people out there, you know, who can see your face, identify you. And uh, in this day and age, also, you have a lot of individuals, way more individuals, of course, back in the time when I grew up. Certain, And when I say individuals, I'm talking about guys who have no qualms about beating up a woman, assaulting a woman, shooting a woman, killing a woman. You know, um, like I said. In my generation, those things was off limits. It was frowned upon. But nowadays, um, not so much, you know. Where you from, bitch? Where you from? And of course, when you have when you have women who are willing to to get on social media, and I see this a lot, you know, they diss the dead, you know, they they get caught up, it seems like, in 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 the gang politics that used to be um reserved for just mostly men you know uh and then so like i said if you was to say something in the in the comfort of your own home that was one thing but now with the presence of social media and you say something and it can be viewed by thousands of thousands of people um it's definitely wise to be selective about what a person says because you may run across a guy who has no problems about on putting them lefts and rights on you because you have said something um, disrespectful to someone that he cares about that has been harmed, hurt, or killed. I'm not necessarily going to put it all on the dudes, right? Because I was locked up for 24 years, and when I got when I got home, one of the things that was extremely noticeable to me was it seemed like women were more disrespectful as a whole toward men and strangers that they didn't know. Now, I'm not saying that a woman should have to bow down and, or she, it should be expected that she bow down verbally when she gets in confrontation with a man because some of these men are also disrespectful. Only thing I'm saying is it is wise to not even engage in an altercation because you never know what this man is willing to do. And just you know, to be honest, you have very few women who can beat up a grown man. And so it's just, it's just the wise thing to do not to indulge into a confrontation that may be that may lead to you being harmed. You know, case in point, let's talk about the lady in Chicago who uh, got into it with a gang member, and luckily her son was there and ended up shooting and killing the gang member. Right? Nowhere in that video did I see where she said anything disrespectful. She was trying to explain herself. She was holding her position and. She, she wasn't being disrespectful. You know, she was just talking or whatever. He kept advising her to shut up. If you say one more thing, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And so my point is you have some men who have no trouble trying to hit a woman with all their strength, you know, all their might. So it makes no sense in my mind to set yourself up for a confrontation that you are extremely unlikely to win. And for, you know, a lot of the guys, man, who... We have these women around us. You know, we have these women on our teams. And, you know, we think some of these women are going to be our ride or die type women, right? And so we we reveal a lot of our street information to them, or some people may call it pillow talking, man. And uh, this is just the fact of the matter, right? In this day and age, you have a lot of dudes who are not willing to go to jail or go to prison for street activities. And so they're not going to stick to the so-called street code that they claim to have when they're free on the streets and around their friends, right? So to me, in my opinion, it is insane to expect that a woman is going to stick to those codes and stuff. So it's just not wise to um, tell her a lot of information that can get yourself in trouble. It's not wise to, to be out there doing things with her, right? And Because one tactic by the police, right, that they're always going to use with a woman anytime it is a anytime it is applicable or something that they can apply, right? If the woman has kids, that's gonna be their go-to soft spot. Uh, how many kids do you? How many kids do you have, Keisha? You know, Keisha might tell him, "I got one. I got two kids." Well, okay, if you don't supply us with this information, uh, you're not gonna see your kids again until they're grown. You know, 20 years old, 25 years old. You're looking at X amount of time. The police 
are not required to be honest, right? So they may run up in your house and grab you and your girlfriend for a charge that only carries two years, two, three years, right? Who knows? But they may tell her she's facing 20 years. She doesn't know. The police don't have to be honest. And they play on that a lot of times. They play on people not knowing the law. So they can lie, tell you all these type of things to scare you, to put fear into you, so they can get the information that they want to have a case against you, right? The police are legally able to do anything short of abusing you, you know, anything short of harming you or whatever. So they're not they're not bound by any law to be truthful to you, right? And so that's just something that I wanted to throw out there, right? And so, like I said, my thing is you have a lot of women nowadays who demand a man must have a certain type of lifestyle in order to even entertain them, right? You know, so a lot of women think that simply being a woman, simply being a woman qualifies them to dictate, uh, to dictate, I guess, a man's financial situation in order to talk to them. But like I said, sometimes being with these certain individuals who are out there getting money in the streets uh, may not turn out good for the long haul. So anyway, I just want y'all to think about that. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy 16 to life. Free game Friday. Resume normal program. Cause he's cowboys and he's playing there He's a little dude, he's a little dude He's a snitch, and it don't matter Fuck gang banging, I'd rather be this way Who do these niggas say? Who they say they is, so he ran Fuck what they saying cause he's cowboys and he's playing there He's a little dude, he's a little dude He's a snitch, and it don't matter Fuck gang banging, I'd rather be this way Who do these niggas say? I swear to God the game is cold, homie What you mean? I popped on a pussy ass nigga, half of me stole on me What happened next? That nigga came to court and told on me Put that on self that's on my soul, homie. Called the highway patrol on me, plus the sheriff's and cops. He told him my name was Eric and I carried a box. So as you start blowing shots and niggas going to jail, don't have a beating with the cops and then you going to jail. Your sister about to shoot and take him, show him as well. He ain't trying to see your chance, they gon' throw him to jail. They wanna throw me up in the cell, but have me with her again. Back to strip searches and guards, see my mail again. Have me far away in the bay, I'm talking pelican. Eating cold ass soy burgers and warm gelatin. I'm far too intelligent to fall for that price Niggas yelling gang gang and ain't about that life And they'll turn that right in front of your face Get your found guilty plus a hundred years on the case Your mama in the court with tears running all over her face Her baby shackle feet, hairs and waist Got nothing these niggas hate Who they say they is, so we bad Fuck what they saying cause these cowboys ain't playing there You a dude, you shoot a damn They snitch, and they don't care Fuck gang banging, I'd rather be this way they say they is, so he win. Fuck what they say, cause these cowards ain't playing fair. They shoot at you, you shoot at them, they snitch, and they don't care. Fuck gang banging, I'd rather be a square. Yeah. Doing life's no joke, I've been where the apes been. You ain't really about that smoke, you a vape man. Soon as they catch a joke, and the fans are escaping. And tough got shit, get shed quick like snake skin. Real and fake men can't exist together. I stay there, you turn snitch, so you a bitch forever. Imagine me, snitch, never, boy, I shook to the throat. You with the county for a month, you said fucking and told me Told that you heard your bitch Nicole was fucking all of your best friend The news said they shook you, they came your chest in You told about the murders at your den on the west end Who was popping the murders and the one who said let's fit Some operated gear signed an affidavit Kept your life was over, nigga, you was trying to fake it So you told a red while the wine, Mars and David you Came home and half your hood for David Got you crazy, nigga, say who they say they is So we ran Fuck what they say, it cause these cowards ain't playing there. They shoot at you, they shoot at them, they snitch, and they don't care. Fuck gang banging, I'd rather be this way. Who do these niggas ain't? Who they say they is, so we win. Fuck what they say, it cause these cowards ain't playing fair. They shoot at you, you shoot at them, they snitch, and they don't care. Fuck gang banging, I'd rather be a square. Yeah.